and you're very welcome to this video in our series on Unit 4 for Leaving Certificate Business. And in this video today, we're going to look at the different types of insurance that are available to a business. So, first we're going to look at is buildings or property insurance. And this basically provides protection against the loss or damage to the actual physical building itself, okay? Usually the cause of that would be because of maybe if the building went on fire, or if the building was flooded, or if there was storm damage. So it's actually for the physical property or the physical building that the business has. Second type of insurance is contents insurance. And that requires the actual uh, protection against the valuables or the goods inside the business. So be it actual physical goods or cash. And these are usual caused by burglary or fire or from flooding. Okay, so this should be taken out for the goods or for the cash that you have in your business or like within, within the premises of your business or for goods uh, that are in transit between your business and another business. So say, for example, another premises you own or between you and your customer. Okay. Uh, another type of insurance then is motor insurance, okay, so if the business owned vehicles of any description, maybe uh, company cars, delivery vans, etc, okay, it's compulsory by law in Ireland to have um, a, in car, a motor insurance or car insurance on, on a vehicle, uh, regardless whether it's a personal vehicle or a private vehicle, okay. Uh, now, what do I mean by third party insurance? There are three types of car insurance, third party, third party fire and theft and comprehensive insurance. Now, we're going to look at what each of those are. So what is third party insurance? Third party insurance basically means that it covers the other driver if you're in it. So if you crash into someone else, okay? So let's say for example, I decide to crash into Mr. Fairy's car by mistake, okay? Uh, then, and I've got third party insurance. Um, that means that I, my insurance policy will cover the damage to cost Mr. Fairy's car, but not my own, okay? Third party fire and theft is the exact same as third party, but it also covers uh, protection if my car is stolen or if my vehicle uh, goes on fire. Okay. Uh, and that's why it's comprehensive or fully comprehensive. And that is the same. It's a third party plus third party fire and theft. Plus then it also covers any damage that occurs to uh, my vehicle as well. So if I crash to someone else, mm -hmm. it'll cover the damage to the other person's vehicle and any losses they suffer plus the damage to my vehicle and any damages I suffer at all. Naturally enough, the cheapest insurance there would be third party, uh, third party fire and theft being more expensive, and then the fully comprehensive would be the most expensive type of motor insurance. Next up then we have key person insurance, and as it sounds it's like it's a valuable person, of the, it's, it's a key member of the business, or it protects a uh, business against the loss of a valuable staff member. So an example for this, say for example, in a mo uh, movies would take this out a lot, okay? If a movie had to stop production because uh, a, 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 a lead member in the cast um, was to suffer a, a serious injury, then and uh, wasn't able to perform their acting duties, then obviously enough they would have to stop production of the film or whatever the case may be. So key person insurance would be taken out in that instance, for example, okay? Public liability insurance, and this is one that's a common one you'll hear about a lot. This basically protects the business against claims made by the public as a result of accidents while on site if the accident is considered to be the fault of the business. So pretty much like say for example, if you go into a supermarket, for example, okay, it's a premises owned by the business, okay, uh, but there you could experience an accident while you're there. So if you experience an accident while you're in the supermarket, that's caused by a result of uh, the the supermarkets uh, actions then you can make a claim against them okay an example of this would say for example if you were to cut your hand on broken glass in a supermarket because it hadn't been cl properly cleared from a shelf okay so that is an injury you've occurred because of the negligence of the supermarket so therefore uh, you can make a claim against them another example would be say for example tripping on a slippy floor for example on a wet floor that didn't have adequate warning signs for saying wet floor example of these is a personal insurance uh, 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 sorry, uh, personal instance board there um for accidents personal instance accident boards uh injury sorry personal injury accident board uh, you can go onto the website there and you can see lots of different case studies of examples of those claims employer liability insurance okay we'll break it down okay employer uh, so it means the boss, the person that employ, uh, employs the employees, okay, their liability. So it covers business against claim made by employees as a result of accidents in work. So similar to public liability, although public liability is for the general public, this is for uh, the actual people working in the business, okay? So for example, if stock fell into an employee in a warehouse causing injury to the employee, well, that's an, an employee getting injured while doing their job. So therefore, if the employer had employer liability insurance, any loss incurred by the employee will be covered by this okay uh, 
Fidelity Guarantee Insurance, this is an important one now, okay, protects the business against dishonesty or fraud committed by an employee. So, for example, if an employee was stealing money from the till in a shop, um, then the uh, loss incurred, and they got caught, the loss incurred by that would be covered with Fidelity Guarantee Insurance. Next up we have then is product liability insurance. And this basically protects the business in the event of customer making claim because of the product they made being defective uh, or being faulty and caused harm to the consumer. For example, if a faulty computer overheated and caused damage to the desk it was on, um, then the product liability, the, the customer can claim against the uh, the business for, ba uh, for damages occurred to their personal property as a result of the faulty product and product liability insurance will cover that loss, okay? Number nine then is consequential loss insurance or business interruption insurance, okay? And that basically is giving compensation to a business if uh, they lose income because of a major risk occurring. So for example, uh, if the business loses out in profit because there was a big fire in the factory and they had to close the factory for three months, basically, okay? So that brings us to the end of this video where we now learned about the main different types of business insurance, uh, main types of insurance available to a business. If any questions, ask below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And of course, why not subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the middle of the screen. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video now. Bye.